My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent. I was a teaching instructor there. I worked at IRS over a decade. I work literally thousands of cases. I've been doing this a really long time. I'm a national expert in IRS tax resolutions, and me and my M&M man give you a thumbs up. You know, um, having a YouTube chan channel, you kind of have a responsibility to make sure you're giving good educational material out. You know, a lot of uh, YouTube's, a lot of people on YouTube are, are really kind of salesy and they're promoting themselves, how good they are. Um, you know, my reputation really speaks for of itself. I've been on Fox and, and ABC News, but today I, I want to address to you really a piece of education and and, and answer a question. Matter of fact, someone called me yesterday and uh, they said, hey, is there a, a program for non-filers to get back in the system? Is there a specific program to do that? So I want to talk to you about the non-filers. Obviously, if you're watching this, you're a non-filer. Um, is there a specific program? Not a specific program, but it's very interesting. IRS has a policy statement for you. It's very favorable, actually, to non-filers. Uh, you can imagine, as a former IRS agent, how many doors I actually knocked on, and people have never filed returns. They didn't even know the last the, pre the president when they filed returns. I used to ask that. I used to say, who was the president? They couldn't even tell me. Well, they didn't know the presidents. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and explain this to you. If you haven't filed your tax return, IRS has a policy statement. You can look it up yourself. That's IRS Policy Statement 5-133. IRS Policy Statement-133. What it says, okay, is that you only have to file the last six years. If you haven't filed forever, if you haven't filed in 20 years, haven't filed in 10 years, you have to file only the last six years. That's kind of their way of saying, here's our program. So how do you file those last six years? Well, you can go to IRS. First of all, you can hire somebody, get a, a pro, us, or whoever you want to get. Um, the first thing you do is go to IRS.gov. Okay, you go to IRS.gov. You want to pull an account transcript history, and then you want to pull a wage and income history. That'll give you all the information IRS has. Yeah, you can get in into the treasure troves of everything IRS has on you. So you will pull your 1099s and W uh, W2s up from. Uh, IRS and you'll be able at least to have a basis to at least prepare your returns for the last six years in some cases we only file three years um, uh, so you go ahead you prepare those and um, you know at the end of the day when you file those you want to have an exit strategy uh, how am I going to resolve the case most people don't file because they've gone a number of years I know this for a fact I've talked to so many people over the years and What's going to happen? Nothing's really going to happen. IRS is going to be happy to get you in the system. I know this sounds hard to believe. They just want to get you back in the system. And then they're just going to work out an agreement with you like they do everyone else. Even if you've never filed, they're either going to put you in a hardship, a payment agreement, or you can file for an offer and compromise. It's so simple. You have someone prepare your returns. And by the way, if you don't have 1099s, W-2s, you can just go to a pro like us, whoever you want to use, and they can just do a tax reconstruction. They can reconstruct what your income is. But at the same time you're filing, you want to know how is your case going to end. Most people who haven't filed, most of those cases end with offer and compromises where they can settle their debt for pennies on a dollar. Not everybody, but you have to walk through the necessary steps to filling a financial statement out and find out exactly who you qualify for. So, um, Anyway, um, at the end of the day, um, that was a call from a client who hadn't filed, actually, for a long time. So anyway, that's all that you have to do. Um, get your tax returns filed. Talk to somebody who knows what their exit strategy is on the case, either hardship, a payment agreement, or offer and compromise, and you're on your way. Stop the worry. Get this thing over with. Just let's give someone a power of attorney. Let them just take the case and let these people just go ahead and run with it. You don't have nothing to worry about, honestly. I'd tell you if you did.
By the way, if you like what I said, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. YouTube really, um, if people are subscribing to me, they really, really like that. They kind of push me up, um, or if you can like, but subscriptions are really big. I don't know why they are to YouTube, so I guess they are to me. And if you have a comment, you can leave the comment. You can text me questions. I answer everyone. Anytime that anyone asks me a question, I answer it. If you have a really good question, I make a YouTube on it. So don't worry. If you're a non-filer, you have a policy statement behind you, stay current, get your returns filed, and stop worrying. IRS ain't going to do anything to you, I promise.